What's going on everybody? So the team and I are out here in Ocala. We're on a mission. We're on a mission to find the most affordable new construction homes in the entire state of Florida. So we're going to start over here in Ocala, which is the horse capital of the world. We're going to show you this new house that's actually for sale. This actual house that you see here is the home that's for sale. We're in a three bedroom, two full bath, just under 1800 square feet, brand new house, 2022. This home, as you can see, has some nice luxury upgrades. We've been talking wood looking tiling. We've got quartz countertops. We've got nice cabinets, shaker style cabinets as well too. 11 and a half foot ceilings in the main living room here. We've got nine and a nine feet, four inch ceilings in all the other uh, bedrooms and stuff like that. So this home has a lot of luxury options in my opinion. I think you guys are gonna like this quite a bit. So I'm gonna start the tour at the front, show you guys basically this entire home, go through the specs, the pricing and the options and all that stuff. And I guess, yeah, if you guys are thinking about maybe purchasing either this home or any other home in Florida, then make sure you reach out to my team and I. We would love to help you guys basically narrow down the inventory, the locations, and everything that you're basically absolutely needing. So without further ado, let's meet at the front and we'll get our tour started. Make sure you give us a call, all right? Yeah. All right, so starting our tour at the front here, you'll notice we have a nice long driveway. You can probably fit about six cars alone in this driveway, maybe another two in the garage. So definitely no concerns here in terms of parking, right? We're on a, just about a quarter acre of a lot, right? We've got the team out here scouting for you guys but honestly one of the things about having a no hoa neighborhood as well too you could park in the lawn if you wanted to but, but don't ruin your lawn though honestly but yeah really nice model here we're just under 1800 square feet three bedrooms two full baths this home has good curb appeal nice mulching at the front here but like i was saying this is a brand new construction home this was built in 2022 this is the actual home that is for sale so if you're interested this home that you're seeing here is available for you to purchase so it does come with these nice little smart tech upgrades like the ring doorbell the smart lock i love how this home has double door entries and the glass at the top also you'll notice the addition of the little windows above the that with the additional window on top of the window so very nice luxury touches on this home here for only 300,000 right or around that price point so let me know what you guys think as soon as you come in here you greet it with your nice open concept living we've got 11 and a half foot ceilings over here right right that's a very luxury option a lot of these luxury buildings these days don't even give you 11 and a half foot ceilings so we've got a formal dining space over here that has a nice window that overlooks the front of the home. So that is a nice touch. Check this out, we've also got nice wood look tile flooring. So let me know what you guys think about this wood looking tile. And we've got this wood look tile everywhere in the entire home. So none of the bedrooms have carpet. Something so. I actually wanted to point out is that the tile here is actually porcelain tile and not that regular ceramic tile. So porcelain tile is a little bit more durable. So highly recommend porcelain over ceramic. I guess. We've got nice quartz countertop here. Pretty decent island. We've got nice shaker style cabinets with a nice espresso color. We also have soft clothes, right? And I love the quartz here that has a little bit of, you know, the gray speckles in here, right? It really brings out the, or the flooring really brings out the, the countertops there. And we've got two long pendant lights, right? Stretching down here. It might be a little too low in my opinion, but you can always change that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this open concept living over here. This would probably be like a little breakfast area here. However, it might be maybe just a little bit too small here. But anyways, it's still a good space. Honestly, you can fit about four chairs here, right? Put your TV up there. Very nice space in my opinion. Honestly, the 11 and a half foot ceilings really transforms this space over here. So. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this space over here. I absolutely love it. 
It's a lot of echo in here as well, but very nice, very nice. Anyways, let's make our way down this corner here. Get this out the way. So over here is your pantry, right? Decent sized pantry. Probably could use a little bit of a bigger pantry. Maybe a walk-in pantry would have been ideal, but honestly, you've got enough cabinet space here in the floor plan, so it's probably, that should not be a deal breaker. Right over here, we've got your air handler. They're using Carrier, which is a very good brand in my opinion. So, and here's your laundry room and check this out. We've also got the sink with the same countertop and cabinets as the kitchen and bathroom. So, very nice touch, uniform look. I love the fact that there's a window in the laundry room space here as well. You could double this as a doggy room if you wanted to as well. Now, over here is the garage space, right? They probably could epoxy the floor to be honest with you, but you can always do that. Very good space for the garage. We've even got attic storage up here, and it even comes with a garage door clicker as well too. That is uh, MyQ certified, so you can use your iPhone or Android phone basically to control the garage from anywhere in the world as long as you got internet. So, very good options in my opinion. You'll also notice we've also got fans installed, all the light fixtures, so. But yeah, let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think about this living room space on a scale of one to 10, right? Especially for the price point, right? They are listed at 309 right now, but prices have been coming down in this area and there are some very good incentives for you to purchase this home. So if you're actually interested in this actual house that you're touring here today with me, then reach out to my team. We would love to help you guys secure this actual home here. It's still currently for sale as of right now. So reach out to us, we would love to help you guys. But anyways, let's continue the tour over to this side. We've got two bedrooms on this corner here that shares that one bathroom. So I'll show you guys that. And the, bath, the bedroom sizes are pretty decent as well. One window, natural lighting. Once again, wood look tile flooring in all the bedrooms. We've also got a ceiling fan. And I know I keep reiterating like this is the actual home for sale, but because sometimes I know that's a popular question. This is not a model home, right? Standard size closet. This is the actual home that you will purchase if you're interested. So. Got linen storage right over here. Let me show you this other bedroom and then I'll show you the bathroom. But once again, wood look tile. We got your ceiling fan and pretty sure it's a standard size closet. Let me just give you a peek. It's about a standard size closet there as well. So these two bedrooms are pretty even in my opinion. I also love the fact that there's a door here that goes outside. So we'll go there as well. But check out the bathroom here. Keeping the uniform look with the quartz countertops and cabinets. I love this sliding frameless glass door that they have added here, right? Like I said, luxury options without spending too much. The tile all the way to the top, the subway tile, the nice texture on the floor there as well. So, and once again, the same flooring out here. Very nice in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about that combination. And yeah, I love the fact that they have this door here that goes outside. Let's see, you know, we might as well go out from right here. This covered lanai here also included. They have actually have impact resistant doors here, the triples, the sliders, impact resistant, which is a, a good touch. So um, at least I think it's impact resistant. I don't know, I didn't see the actual coding code uh, recommendations for that, but point two, three acre lots. It's just about a quarter acre of a lot here. If you wanted to put a pool, there's definitely enough space for you to put a pool. You could put a playground. You could plant all your trees, put a mango tree, a banana tree, a papaya tree, put your pepper tree, or your pepper plant. You could do a whole garden section. Honestly, dude, it's, so, it's endless. You could do anything you want here. Keep in mind, no HOA. No one's gonna tell you what you can and cannot plant over here. So that's another option. Now, I love the floor plan, right? Now, if you don't like this area, you can build this floor plan in other areas as well too. So if that's something you're looking at, maybe you like the same exact floor plan, we can probably get this builder to build it on a lot of maybe you already have your own lot, or maybe we can help you find a lot and then build this floor plan. And maybe if you wanted to make a few changes, we could talk to the builder as well too, to maybe make a few changes. But this home right now is available. It's on the market, listed at 309. I'm pretty sure we can get you guys some incentives to go along with this here. So reach out to my team, we'd love to help you guys. But anyways, let's continue the tour and go check out the master. But yeah, now we're back in your living, open concept, right? But yeah, like I was saying there, these doors, 
I don't know if they're actually impact resistant, but they look like they could be because of the way they're structured. But I know because we were kind of limited on windows and doors, they might've just selected something else. But anyways, now, I know you guys want to see the primary suite. This, honestly, because if you're buying this home, right, especially let's say this is a starter home or maybe a move down home, this is where you're going to spend, I guess, your time. So your personal time, and this is your primary suite. We've got nine feet, four inch ceilings in here. You'll notice we still have the same wood look tile flooring. We've got a nice ceiling fan already added. Harbor breeze as well. And then over here, we've got two closets. So we've got this nice big walk-in closet here. This one does have a can light in here to, for you to light it, this closet. This closet here does not have a light. That is probably one flaw. I will point out this closet should probably have like a can light or something to, to light it up. But other than that, I mean, you could probably just use this as a shoe closet and use this as your main closet. Let me know what you guys would do. But anyways, and then check out this primary shower right this entire bathroom here has very nice luxury items we got a raised vanity height same countertop and cabinets as outside nice square undermounted sink we've even got drawers added here with soft clothes right so very nice and then check it out we've got a freestanding tub overlooking the actual this front window here and i love that they actually frosted the window so you can't see in you can't see out but you can still get the lighting so very good freestanding tub in my opinion you don't typically get this in homes around this price point so to get this honestly it's a really good option so i love how to we even have the freestanding faucet over here got a nice frameless glass door here nice tile that goes all the way to the top right it looks like some marble looking tile Honestly, we've even got a bench here and then nice tile flooring there with the texture. So very nice shower in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe the only thing missing maybe is maybe what, a rain head? But I mean, you can honestly add that in the future if that's something you wanted. But for a $300,000 home, honestly, I gotta say for 300K, this home has a lot of luxury options that I would see a lot of people basically liking. And also, I guess I gotta point this out. This is a, a block and stucco construction home, not a wood frame. This is actual concrete block and stucco. There's some places charging a million dollars for a wood frame construction home, which, I mean, that's up to you if you wanna pay a million dollars for a wood frame construction home in Florida, right? But this is gonna be a good option for anyone out there that basically looking to migrate to Florida that just needs either a downsizing or a starter home that wants some luxury options without breaking the bank. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, if you like this home and you wanna basically set up a private showing for this home, reach out to my team and I, we would love to help you guys. But I guess, uh, yeah, definitely check out my channel, subscribe. I'm gonna go basically and find the most affordable new construction homes for you guys. So if that's something you're interested, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to the Prasad Group YouTube channel as well too. We're doing tours over there as well. But without further ado, I hope you guys have a blessed day. Peace. So Brandon just made a great point. He said that 300, this is definitely not the cheapest. He said he, said he could find some for 250, so. 247 actually, don't hold me to it. Uh, but 247, 250, got some videos on my channel too, so keep that in mind. All right, you're gonna have to show us some of them 250 yeah, houses. Yeah. So that's what, if you guys wanna see houses for 250K, new construction homes for like 250K, make sure you subscribe, follow us, because I guess that's where we're going next.